good morning everyone uh, let me start the presentation <clears throat> let us discuss an important topic while every informatica interview real-time scenarios or uh, performance improvement topics okay, this is three round an interview point of view here comes the uh, problem statement I'm directly jumping to the topic uh, here comes the problem statement. Let us assume I have a slowly changing dimension type 2 mapping. If I look up in the transaction table, I have a look up in the target transaction table. Daily, five sources of data sending almost 50,000 records to two data warehouse. My lookup is in target which has 50 million records. Uh, I have given some source systems here. I have given some source systems that uh, names here. Okay and the source type what is database or a flood fire or xml type of thing and then you know right so informatica is a atl tool which extract transforms and load the data from various sources into one common database <clears throat> so i'm thinking that um, first source system gives 10,000 records new records and 1000 updated records so likewise there are five source systems which gives 25,000 records and among 10,000 maybe update transactions. Okay, I'm taking a two uh, cases. One, I have five mappings which loads into transaction table has a transaction lookup on today's data, only today's data. So it won't see the history of the data. <coughs> Case two. All five mappings, these are the five, five mappings which loads into transaction table has a transaction lookup on all the data. All the data means it has 50 million, so it will scan 50 million data. So each mapping is running for two hours, so need to improve its performance. How? So let us think about the options we have. You please ready with your options. Uh, before we think about the options, let us see the data flow of the data flow of the data. So I have three databases: Sybase, Oracle, DB2, and there are a uh, few files which we are getting data too. So I am integrating them into Vara, that is Stage database. After that, data warehouse load. Data warehouse load first dimensions will get loaded after that factor will get loaded. So this is the general data flow. I just wanted to let you know. Here comes the statement again. Let us discuss the problem statement again. So by loading each source to Tandra transaction target every mapping has a transaction lookup for almost 50 million in case 2 for case 1 it will be some thousands so transaction table is a, a cd type 2 here it is a static lookup now every mapping runs for 30 minutes in case 1 and in case 2 it may be 1 hour to 2 hours so time to less than 15 minutes is target so let us think about the options we have Here comes the option one. So I have a static lookup instead of that. Can we have a dynamic lookup or can we have a joiner instead of a lookup so that database scan, earlier scan, earlier scan and fetching the data will be easier because we are already touching source database. So why don't we get the data? Right? Option is inefficient. Why? 
Parameter lookup is used for if you want to use it for bigger tips, then you will see decrease in performance. Dynamic lookup can be used to identify record which are already present in target or not dynamically. But here is the case. It's not that. We don't want unnecessary cache built every day for 15 million <coughs> records. Here comes option two, push down optimization. Unfortunately, my 13 years of large uh, client databases, data warehouses, eight projects, I never see anybody using PDO. Of course, I mean, I may not know the exact use of that. But anyway, PDO is helpful when your mapping doesn't have much complex transformation or logic. For example, if you're loading data from source to pre stage tables and you have only simple pass through logic, then this may be helpful. If you have complex mappings like finding whether a record exists or not, if you have uh, some logic for existing or new separate new record separately, then PDO will be very less in improvement. <coughs> Let us see the third options we have. Third option we have parallel partition. So this partition is efficient but uh, not perfect. Let us see why. Database partition based on the dates. Example quarter wise, say for example Q1 2018, Q2 2018, like that. So there are four quarters here. So if you are maintaining five years of database, then 20 quarters. And every quarter you have to create a new one. Say for example 2019 coming and you have to create a new quarter. <coughs> so we must have a stored procedure to create a quarter every quarter starting with. <coughs> And when you want to uh, look up the transformation, then you can um, you can use only the particular um, quarters data based on the source and start date or <coughs> effective date, loan effective date. Based on that, you can decide which um, which quarter you want to scan. So this is definitely improves the performance, but not perfect. Let us see why. We can use required partition based on the transaction start date so that scanning will not be whole table but part of a table. I have another option called flat file lookup. So what is a flat file lookup? Okay, case one, first load itself, I will include a flat file transaction target and load today's first source data into it. First mapping doesn't have any record to look up because we wanted to look up first uh, today's transactions only so for second source load to target I use trans transform transaction flat file as lookup instead of a table let you see so max size file for today is 51,750 records scanning is easy and performance will be improved what about case 2 so let us see the case 2 option we have for that flat file so I have 50 million, I have 50 million data into flat one, a simple mapping PDO, which runs in business hours to get all the 50 million into, into flat one. It can run on business hours. It won't impact the performance as it is a flat file lookup. First load itself, we need these 50 million flat file lookup. Hence we take it before production load start. This must be one time for that particular day. After that, every day, every load, we will load new records or updated records into the flat file to along with the target. In further loads, this file scanning will be easy than table scan. We may doubt on flat file with 50 million data. Is it possible to hold or still? Let us think we can also change this 50 million into multiple files. Let me remind you, flat file scanning is easy than easy and performance improving than the table scanning. We will clap them in pre-session command for the load or we can use 10 unconnected lookups and scan each until you get a reference for input. By looking at all the options, that's the options we have. Uh, so by looking at all the options, I think <coughs> this one is efficient. But uh, parallel partition is also a best option to look at. Um, 
let me know if you think any other options in my comments um, let me know if you think any other options in my comments thank you for watching this video please advise your thought on this comment section